Hey, man, we in this motherfucker show. My guy, C-Max, out E. McGee, man. It's the Watch Your Back Podcast. Fumo Mike from 106.1 Cam and Yield. You know what I'm saying? We in this thing, bro. We in this thing, bro. Anyway, though, don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. Make sure you watch that back, though. Y'all niggas is... Y'all niggas. <laughs> Ladies, too, watch that... All that. Right. Back right. and all that. We got my guy in the building, man. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up with you, man? What's up with the film? Come on, on man. man. We got we Carter Block business, in this man. motherfucker, man. Got Carter Block with the ENT on the end, man. You know? Hey, man. I didn't, I didn't reincarnate it myself, so you know I, I'm going by the Mr. Carter Block himself, but you know it's always Bird. You Off know? top. Yeah. <laughs> my bad, bro. You know, we go back, man. Man. We're talking about Fat City. Fat City. We're talking about Me Lounge. Man. What's that? Come on, bro. Shout out you to know, the city Mike, of Hayward. Mike, you know, Mike been dealing with me since I was a youngin. You know what I'm saying? When I was fresh in my 20s, when my cousins were throwing big events and big shows. Shout out Chameleon Production, e Hand. Shout out yeah, Kills. It's Kills. You feel me? Shout out to the e whole Hammy team, E-Hammy is man. a teacher and shit, bro. And, uh, yeah, man. He doing big community activist things now. You know what I'm saying? Tapping in, researching, and doing bigger, bigger endeavors now outside of music. You Who know? you got with you right now? Oh, that's my little bro, Dooley. Management Put him on team. camera, man. Carter Put Black him on e camera. He's scared management. to get on camera. It's the Dooley, He's looking, he looking like a football player and shit. <laughs> get over there, man. Get it's over Dooley. there. Dooley, let me know. Okay. I got two que- I got a question for both of y'all. Did you wash your back today? Oh, for sure. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> you uh, you got to ask a nigga that they hit the crevice of their neck, though. Did you hit the crevice around your neck, though? You know, behind that ear, though. Huh? Hey. It, it might smell a little shitty deal if you go. You know? I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying, though. So, you know, ask the niggas, did you watch your neck did and you, behind your ears with your, your back? back. All you that know what shit, man. It's a combo. Hey, man. Okay, let's get right into it, man. What's the problem with Bay Area hip-hop? Woo. I hear, I mean, I'm coming in, nigga. Well, let's do it then. <laughs> you, know, you tell my, me, my, my, what are some of the opinion? struggles you go through? Oh, uh, man. Talk to us. Talk so to some us. Some of the struggles I deal with, you know what I'm saying, from yeah. being an ex-artist slash CEO executive now and do management in a and R. I'm I'm kind of heavy on uh, branding. You know, branding is everything with me, and a lot of people out here in our area don't really brand, you know, so... By the things that I do and I bring to the table, I kind of scare a lot of people off due to the things that how I approach it. You know what I'm saying? The game. So how do you when I when the I game? when I come at it, I'm coming at it like you know, uh, Master P type, uh, Birdman type. You know, uh, not saying death row type, but I like their mentality when it came out to putting the structure on music. You know what I'm saying? But not like the negativity that was behind it. You know, so it's like. I try to I try to implement the things that a lot of people is missing, you know what I'm saying, such as PR, marketing, advertising, promoting things and letting everything that I do have a a CBE attachment to it. No matter if it's Carter Block, Carter Block Snacks, Carter Block ENT, Carter Block Agency, Carter Block Management, it's going to be something with the you Carter got condoms. Block. Man, I I, I, I should. <laughs> I should. <laughs> I should. The Carter Cobbs. Carter Condoms. You know? Yeah, man. For shut real. up, man. Man, you been putting in work for a while, man. Like you said, you used to be an artist. Well, how did you make that transition from an artist to CEO? So, you know, basically. Or was you already CEO? You just made al- the full I transition already, to I was already artist CEO. slash CEO, CEO management type shit. Right. So, I actually been a CEO since 2004. You know what I'm saying? But I was an artist at the same time. Starting with my group, The Sluggers. I know you remember this The nigga look, This nigga look 27. Man. Since 2004? 2004. How old was you then? 2000, no, you 2004. I was dubbed. No, go, go ahead. Go ahead. I got you, bro. So, you know, I, uh, I've i been pushing heavy since then. Definitely. I, I, had, I had the group, The Sluggers. We was we was doing shit around the hyphy movement at the time when Keek and Fab and... Uh, the hood stars and um, um, you know people like such as Juice and Messy Marv and I was able to be on tour with a lot of these different people at a time where it was real strategic on how things was you know being broadly brought to the you know the surface of what we call the world you know and um, it was a blessing to be able to you know rub elbows with those people at a young age fresh in the game especially when you being a fan of somebody and then you turn into these is your peers to where you doing business with these people. So, you know, I was very uh, 
appreciative of the of those times because I got to learn some things from those people to gravitate were, to what I'm doing today. Were you appreciative then or you look back and now you're more appreciative? I'm more appreciative now because I'm I'm I can say I'm more mature. I was always mature, but the things that I look into the game on things is is different now. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't really care about doing things with a lot of other people because I never really cared about getting into other people's problems or politics. So I try to keep it close knit within family and close knit with doing business with people that I really know instead of just joining forces with people because it seemed cool or looked cool or might, you know, portray to be through a, a image look. You know what I'm saying? So I never wanted nobody to be having nothing that I was doing misconstrued by any of those movements or anything that I was presenting anything because, you know, Wrong place at the wrong time can happen to anybody, no matter what it is and how it may be laid out. Where's Carter Block? Uh, you know, Look, Carter Carter talk, Block talk is a. Uh, Some Black, people don't know. You Carter, talk, we're yeah. talking to the world Carter right Carter Block now, is you know my neighborhood. Saying? You know, Shirley. it was a uh, East Twenty First and Twenty Fifth. It was apartment building, housing authority structure. You know, private kids that grew up together, real close knit. You know, a lot of us wouldn't blood kin, but it's we in the town. Blood it's in, in the town, Oakland, California. Murder dubs, rolling 20s to twimps, wherever, how people may know the neighborhood, you know, but where I came from, we called it the Carter, you know, and if you know anything about the Carter and, you know, days of, of that time, then uh -oh. that's some of the things that me and my young family members was into at the time of our, our younger age, uh -huh. you know, and um, I took the, the, the negative side of things and turned it into something positive through all the, you know, the trials and errors and the people losing their lives and people going to jails and all the, you know, the stigmas that is brought to us by being in poverty, you know, and I didn't want nothing or nobody to ever look at me or nobody I was associated with to be uh, as some turmoil kids that, you know, that just did badly things. So I um, changed the whole correspondent when it came to just representation, you know, the way it's presented, the way it looked, the way how it's approached, the way how, People may think, smell, taste it, whatever. I want it to be, you know, pure, genuine and, and have a love of approach because it's always been family with me and I want to accept the people that's outside of me to know that they is family to me. You literally uh, wear it on your chest. Facts. It's right there. Two times. You feel me? That's a, do you, I, I'm just saying, bro, like, you feel me? Like, it, it, like I was going to ask you, like, what does it mean to be, but you just said it. All in that encompassing statement you just made, right? So right. yeah, yeah, like that, that. That's some real shit. Thank you for th thank you for that. Um, anyway, uh, it's Phil Mike here to watch your back podcast. Tell the people what Carter Black and who's in Carter Black Entertainment. Let the people know. So Carter, I mean, you know, Carter Black Entertainment. Has, you got a prodigy on your hands, man. You yeah. got a, you got a prodigy on your heads. Bro. Yeah, man. Let let the people know about Duty, all that shit, man. So uh, I guess we can start with Duty. Yeah, since you, since you brought him up, Little Duty, you know, Phenom started at ten and a half, eleven years old. We've been watching him grow. And man, He's taller you than know, you, I think. Yeah, he is. He is. He is. <laughs> For sure, he is. He got me well beat. Right, you know, well beat. But uh, I I gotta thank. Can me ill, you know what I'm saying? Thank people like you, you know, thank people like Hella Erie Vine. Hella Eerie. You know what I'm saying? Um, they gave the little dude an opportunity at a at a young age where the branding for a kid wasn't really around at the time for people to even understand how to accept the kid coming back into the game. Cause at the time, we haven't seen that since like Bow Wows and, and Lil Romeos and so for me to show a new enlightenment of it and a whole type of, you know, rim that we was coming at, it 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 been a, a, a beautiful journey, you know what I'm saying? From from y'all playing him on the radio for from years, from he was eleven to he turned, I wanna say How old is he now? Fifteen, sixteen, he's seventeen now. Wow, he's finna graduate. So, yeah, he's about to graduate. So like I said, I wanna thank the endeavors that you guys played a major part on his growth. You know what I'm saying? A major part on letting the world know who he is. A major part on just being heard when uh, it wasn't really his time, but it was his time because we put in a lot of grind, you know? You, that's funny you said it really wasn't his time. So you feel like, do you feel like he kind of got spoiled? I mean, he did get spoiled. 
Got you. You know, and I'm not afraid to say that. Right, 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 right. To me. It happened. It happened kind of yeah. quick. For it him. happened quick due to me being in the industry. You was busting. You was pushing people. that hard line, like you said earlier, a death row line, a, a no limit. You feel me? You pushing that hard man. line for you and literally yours, man. Because at the time, I had about 20 artists at that time. So, nigga, what? Man, I had some. <laughs> man, I had. <laughs> man, I. I had about 20 artists, man. Right? I had. Then there everybody from my neighborhood rapping, you know what I'm saying? Plus outside people that That's I knew That's a beautiful thing, with. though. That's a beautiful thing. And um, I just brought it to the table. So what, what I did was instead of people having an individual look about their characteristics on how they will be looked at or perceived, I took in the whole group to get the look. So that you when you when you want to show, you're going to get the whole label instead of a certain person. Mm-hmm. So now you're getting a whole type of different vernacular when it comes to this game that's different than what, how everybody else presented. When they come into the game, they looking at it like, okay, this is a one-man battle, so they only wanted him. So, you know, and the, the, tactics of, the tactics of those things that I brought was things that we did around the hyphy movement. You know what I'm saying? If it, whoever show it was, you still able to see about 15 other your favorite artists because at the time, the unity was everything in the community. So... Mm. That's the bridging of how I wanted to bring it. Like the unity within my people gonna force the community to, to get to fuck behind with it. it. You know what I'm saying? So no matter if I was giving out food, no matter if I was, you know, just talk about pro- providing things for the community that the community was missing. And you do love. this. Yeah. Yeah. You know, ain't you can't talk about something that you ain't doing, you right. know what I'm saying? I'm like just, I'm say, just trying to let the people yeah. know he be, like he be they, outside like they say, really doing you know, this shit. Yeah. If you if you're gonna live by, you're gonna die by. That's like the gun, live by, die by. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I live by. If I'm gonna be out here pushing a narrative for my people, I gotta really stand on what I mean. You know what I'm saying? You can't come from a situation and be a half in, half ass out person. You know, it's all or nothing. And I'm uh, I look at it like you got to be authentic, no gimmick. You know what I'm saying? Keep it one thousand because if you take a zero off of one thousand, you one hundred. But if you take a zero off that one hundred, you only ten. So you a sour power. So it's just on what do you take in from the situation? Can you repeat just that? Can you repeat that real quick? You know what repeat I'm saying? That. You said take a thousand. Hold on, repeat Come on, that. Keep it one thousand. Was, math wasn't my best subject. Come on, keep it one thousand <laughs> at all times because if you take a zero off of that, you one hundred. But uh-huh. if you take a hundred off of that, you take a zero off that hundred. What is you ten percent? So uh-huh. you fraud. Uh-huh. You know. So we want to stop a lot of the narratives from what people put look or present to us as being fraud. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not with none of that. Like as my brother Chief say, no sucker shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Shout out to my big brother Chief Suck. Shout no sucker Chief. shit, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? A couple of weeks ago for surely. Man, Shout out my nigga. man. We're sorry. gonna talk about that. No, so be for real, for real though. That that's some real shit, my nigga. Um, talk about your morning. You said you just mentioned uh, Cheap Charlie. Talk about your morning talks. Because you have your morning talks. You go live. You go live with a couple people every morning. Sometimes I catch it. Sometimes I don't. You feel me? But y'all be talking about a lot of real shit, man. Talk about your morning talks and where they could find the morning talk at. Okay, and what do you so, call it? I don't, I don't know what it's coined or termed. Do you feel me? So my bad. Our, our morning session, we call it Wake Your Ass Up. Yeah, that's right. That's right. My bad, me? my bad, my bad. So it's the Wake Your Ass Up. Yes, sir. You know? Please forgive me. Please forgive we, me. Uh, I'm, I'm actually starting a podcast. So we got the Wake Your Ass Up podcast, but that's the Wake Your Ass Up, you know what I'm saying, Instagram podcast. Right. Where we let a lot of the half-nots be able to have a voice and opinion, you know, because, you know, Sometimes in this game, they feel like the people that's not in the in crowd shouldn't have a voice or, or opinion about things that, that that's not they not involved with. You know what right. I'm saying? So on the platform, we just try to let people stand on the things that was really right and was really wrong and take accountability for your actions that you didn't play in these games. Mm-hmm. So one thing that I can say as, a, as an example, right, it's so many OGs, right? That, that point the finger or try to talk greasy or smirkers or, or some fake frauds and shit about the young era right now, right? The young niggas, the youngsters, the, the wild ones, you know what I'm saying? But they fail to realize that was you 15 years ago. Mm-hmm. So by the, being you 15 years ago, they only reincarnating and re, re, restructuring things that they seen you do. So how can you be a hypocrite and say that this little nigga out here is stupid? This little nigga out here be on some dumb ass shit. So what, what, so what was it when you was outside doing that dumb ass shit? Was you stupid? Right. Was you the nigga that was so ignorant that you didn't understand with, it, with, with the gravitation 
uh, brought to you as what it was. Off top. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I just feel like that's what I was saying about that hypocrite shit, man. It's a lot of hypocrites out here in this Bay Area. It's a lot of hypocrites out here in, in, in this culture that we call the music industry because people don't understand what it takes to really know and to stand on something. I hate the I hate the uh the term stand on business, right? Because <laughs> why you hate that term? Because a lot of people who say that shit don't own no business. Oh shit. You feel me? That's a bar. How the fuck you standing on business and you don't own the business? Yeah, you ain't got business. no EINs, you ain't paying no taxes and shit. You politicking about words and using words in the wrong placements where it don't even deserve to be in in place with. And mm. see, that's what we got to start understanding as us people, you feel me? Stop doing all this fake ass shit just to sound cool, look cool, and act cool when that shit is really some sucky shit. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, people people gotta understand, man. It's okay to have these little slick terms and shit, these little new, you know, slangos and lingos and all the shit that you want to <laughs> call this shit. But at the end of the day, the term and the definitions is gonna be what it is. That's why they got a motherfucking facts or D. Facts. That's why they got a facts motherfucking yeah. called a thesaurus. That's why they got the thing called yeah. thesaurus. That's why they got the dictionary. You feel me? Because those things give you the whole definition when it comes to the ins and outs of those words. I, I, you can't change it. We I, try to make it different right. because it's a slangery. That slangery, you know what I'm saying, put niggas involved with all this shit they call gangery now. So at the end of the day, we ain't trying to be keep going and going and, and being infatuated with the things that's setting us back, man. Let's keep going forward. Forward. This nigga come through. DC, what's popping, bud? Man, what's up, man? What's but up, this nigga, I'm like, who is this nigga bringing? I'm like, who, DJ DC? I'm like, I, I, I didn't think it was you. I always forget. <laughs> I always forget you fuck with Carter Black. Please forgive me, bro. You know I love you. You know I love you, you for sure. Man, I, I swear to God, you bro. I love you. I've been, I been knowing my nigga for hella long. Real talk. Real Frisco representing. Did you wash your back today? Man, you know I'm going to wash my back, wash my hip, wash my neck, and wash my feet in We just talked toes. about washing you, necks and shit. You hear you? You had it. Me. I we, wasn't even in there, you did. We got love more than billing. Yeah. Come on, man. Oh, hey, to the miggity, man. What's what I got to slide this way? Hold on. Yeah, you got to do something, my right, brother. Hey, to the miggity. Hey, to the mig. You know what I'm saying? What's popping? What's up with you? Did you wash it? your back, my brother? Come on, bro. You feel me? Hey, when what you, you be asking niggas? When, hold when on. You, when this you the love more like show. Minnetonka? This the love more show, man. He be asking people, "What's your definition of love?" Indeed, you feel me? I'm asking uh, you. What's Ooh. my definition of love, bro? Love, <laughs> right hey, down, nigga. Hey, bro. Love is a force, so you can't force love. You feel me? Oh, so, that's a that's bar. That's what it's about. That's you my guy right here. In. You feel me? Straight up. And, and when you say, you, well, "Did you? Did I wash my back, man?" Yeah, did you? Like, I'm dipped in the Lake Minnetonka. You oh, feel me? Okay. okay. You, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? What? 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 Come on, what? man. You I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. Let them know. You feel me? So that's where the real ism come from. You feel me? Yeah. A lot of people feel like they got the ism. They speak in the ism, but it ain't that. You just speak in knowledge. That's not the wisdom. That's not the ism. You feel me? When you really balance. When you're really speaking from your heart and your mind and your soul mm -hmm. and all your chakras, that's when you really tapped in. You gotcha. feel me? So that's what I'm here for. I'm just here tapping in. Feel me? Come and just nah, we appreciate you being here, man. It's the Wash Your Back Podcast. Feel my mic in this motherfucker. C-Mac in here. We got some legends in this motherfucker. Love more, my guy. Carter Block Entertainment. DJ DC. Uh, we were just talking about that, man. We was talking about, uh, we never really got to it, but like, he kind of started to talk about it, but like, people is like, basically bullshitting. <laughs> sure. And that's this feel year, me? bro. You, you feel me? go to Chicago with the bullshit. I'm phoning him. You me feel me? Hear you. On love. You feel me? But not saying that on that, because it's really love for for me, all the, all the soil. When you really got the ism and you really tapped in from the essence and the source energy, mm -hmm. it don't matter where you at on the globe. You feel me? People going to be like, you that and it's that mm -hmm. but it's really time in this year for authenticity it's all it's really in this year for um drawing a line in the sand and be like bro is you fucking with me or not bro oh man let them know like be that you for feel real? me don't say i got your back no it's time to have my back you got my back on my way back fuck with me the long way <laughs> you feel me that's old school when we was in we was in like do you feel? Do you, you feel? Me? Do you feel like people in the bay like don't really have people back they kind of like show show they kind of like it's for show it's for pump sure. faking, and how I would say it, how I would say that is specifically this, you know, like in the Bay Area, what we about is the Black Panther movement. So we about community. So that's it's it's cool to be about community. So you remember when we was younger, we might be playing a video game. You playing Sega Genesis. You feel me? You be like, man, this fuck this gay ass controller. This shit ain't working. We'll say gay, but now in this day and age, it's like that ain't cool to say gay. 
You feel me? It ain't cool to be on that hype. Right. You feel me? So you just really got to be about what you shout. And that's what we about, the authenticity. And it take a lot of bravery to face your fears. Off top. You feel me? You've been doing your thing, bro, for a while now, bro. I've been right. seeing, you, seeing you putting in your work. And then I heard about you before you even start doing your little two-minute interviews and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been, I heard of somebody was like, man, uh, they was like, man, this dude is talented. He's hella tight. That's rooted, and For that real. had to be either like uh, How'd you Ashley up with? or uh, you feel me? That's who it was, yeah. Yeah, it's like that, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So we rooted, and we gonna speak to our, our people because the people put time in and work in. She a model, she did her thing, she a solid individual, mm-hmm. and she's somebody that you respect and I respect, so when we see each other, it's respect. Definitely. And that mean that mean a lot when you the glue like that, you mm-hmm. feel me? Definitely. So what you wanted me to say to speak to? Nah, you good. You okay, doing your thing, yeah, bro. but that's, that's, that's basically it, like... Being rooted, especially in this Bay Area energy, you feel me? You got to really peep, like... Talk about the Bay Area energy. What's Bay Area energy to you? Bay Area energy is, like I said, that Black Panthers, you feel me? That's that... Um, my bro was just talking about... They were saying it was the Harlem of the West being on 7th Street in the West. Like, you feel me? It was talking about uh, Aretha Franklin and, um, and, 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 and James Brown locked in with Bobby Newton. You feel me? And Huey P. You feel me? On 7th Street. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. we really the foundation. They said, hold on, hold on, hold on. They said the Harlem of the West was in, in Oakland? Bro, 7th Street, bro. Because I heard the Harlem, because I'm from Filmo, uh-huh. and I've always heard that they call it the Harlem of the West Filmo. So but, this is something new to me. No, you no, tell no, me, no. get me up. No, Harlem of the West is just us. It I'm not mad, what, nigga. No, I'm, I'm not. Saying, no, it's sorry, all I'm from Filmo. That's fuck, what I'm saying. Not fuck Harlem, but I don't care. I'm just saying. You trying to get, you're putting me on. I'm taking, bro, I'm putting each other on. You feel me? These you know, Am I tripping? No, no, no. No, no, no. We all put. He ain't wrong, but you're not wrong. It is. When he's saying about the Black Panther side, you talking about far as the music side, far as when we was wearing the zoot suits, far as we wore the jazz we were the west right Feel that's all i'm saying that? so you put oh, me no, on the no, game bro, yeah, bro. yeah i love it i'm yeah. camp mendocino bro. come on bro come on bro street bro jose my nigga come on my nigga <laughs> come to nature <laughs> Car, you feel me? Get your car. Oh, Shout out Cat Mendocino what time, nigga. Diddy, you feel me? Straight you the skills, fuck up. Energy, you feel Chief. me? Like, I'm talking about real life ones. I'm Chief Dancing Dog. Oh, top. I'm a real one. Go Hell see, yeah. Straight love. up. You was in what? I was in what, what you was in? You was in Apache? What was it? I was in Apache, Chippewa, Chippewa Pop Pop. But Cherry, we, Cherokee. Cherokee. Come on, man. Yeah, but, but you got to peep. These you lost your virginity at Cat Mendocino, huh? Man. To, to one of them Talk about a war story sne- Sneaking out Sneaking out on a late night And made my own trail Bro I swear me? to God bro One night we was out there It was the last night We said fuck it We finna go to uh, The Girl Tribe uh-huh. And you know The Girl Tribe Was by Nature Trail And by the uh, little thing uh-huh, And we up. snuck out Yeah we snuck out Late night And then it. they was like we was we knew y'all was gone, but we couldn't find y'all. We got back to our our bunk and shit. They didn't know what was going on. But I was like, nigga, you can't do nothing. We go home tomorrow, bro, motherfucker. That's bravery, <laughs> bro. That's mean. That mean I'm facing my fears, bro. Yeah. You got to, bro. You don't know if a bear out there. You don't know what's out there. But you about to, bro, I'm about to stand on what I'm standing on. You feel mm-hmm. me? What I believe in. Straight up. You feel me? So and 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 and, and but the, the best thing about Cam and Cena, we in Frisco, so I want to say about this because it is hella important. Mm-hmm. Um. The best thing about that was it was so many different hoods, so many different Man, people. talk you about it. Around yeah, each yeah. other. Bro, I met my first per- bro from EPA, my first bro from yep. Richmond, my right. first bro from everywhere in the Bay Area. Cam did that. Cam did that. Sure. And it was you know, about and it was, about, sure. and it was about um You feel me? Breaking out of your shell. Yeah. You, know, you right, bro. You. you feel me? It's people like Dwayne Cook. You feel me? It's people like uh like Shay Diddy. She here. She yeah. not she right. alumni. Right. You feel me? Um when you talk about when you talk about um, uh, uh, the last black man in San Francisco, Jimmy, that was one of my campers. Yeah, okay, me? for sure. I called him Paul Pierce because he had heart and he, Off put, top. he had to. You feel me? Okay. Um, it's so many people that's connected. So mm-hmm. any chance that we could connect with each other, bro? Any opportunity for us to connect with each other? You from we took that? Uh, shout my nigga. I I met a I met so many people, and you're right. Cameron Decino served like a. Uh, What's that shit? Where do niggas go when they when they get in trouble? Detention? Not detention. <laughs> Juvenile. Juvenile, but what's the spot they go? What's the Y A? Y A. 
It's like a it's like a YA for like people that you feel me like where you just meeting all you mean oh, people love. from all over the fucking oh, bay, oh, oh. and then one thing because I'm from Fillmore, but I, I tell these people this story all the time. I moved to Richmond my senior year, right? Mm -hmm. But it's a good thing because I moved to Richmond. And I got niggas that fuck with me in Richmond. That's the real you feel life. me? All the shit. Right. Life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like when when you go to Camden Decino, you men P I met Peanut, my nigga Peanut, uh, rest in peace to his cousin, Johnny yeah, Cash. Cash uh, yeah. uh, you feel me? I met Peanut at Camden Decino. You know what I'm saying? I met so many people just from Camden Decino, four hours away. You feel me? You go there, yeah. you discover who you are, you discover yeah. yourself, you acknowledge yourself, you rep you rep your hood, they have to dance at the end of the night, Legendary. you try to finger a girl, the all the shit, that. your fun, your fingers stinking and, you know, I and shit. I broke the record that nature. <laughs> I broke the record that nature, right? Y'all, hey, man, do your research, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, I, I, I didn't, I didn't, you feel me? Like you said, knocked your first ones. I had the first girls yeah, call man. my phone after camp. Yeah. From camp. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. You, you learned really a lot, stand, man. You got to just really be bold to face the real elements. And just look up at the stars at night. And you should be like, damn, bro. How did you meet? World. How did you meet Bird? Um, it's, it's so many different ways. Um, I would say that. Uh, How did y'all link up? We officially linked up with bro. This, bro, every single, since the pandemic, bro, this, bro, would go live. He, he started live. He damn near like. We were just talking about that before. Like, you were, first of all, you, you niggas was late. But we were just talking about that. <laughs> we were just talking about hey, that. Uh, Continue. Hey, no, Thank you. You say that, but Thank I, you. you say late. I say God timing. Ooh. Nigga, you was time. late, nigga. Come on. Fin timing. Finish the story. Timing. There so many things. <laughs> it was so many things. No, it was so many things that had to connect the dots for us to be here. You feel Man. me? Okay. That's the consolation. You better not be late to work, nigga. No, no, no. I'm working. You're going to tell, you tell the ball. Man, that was hella no, shit. This no, God, no. This is, no, no, work late to Supervisor, me. Supervisor, this is God's timing. No, I'm fucking with you, no, Go ahead. I'm, 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 I'm a joke. I fired the job. I tell jokes. Go ahead. No I try to. Definitely. But no, but how connected with bros? Because um, you was doing the live. We were just talking about that. The, the morning live, shit. So that was just it, and I just tapped in with the lives. But even before, what's that, it called though, again? I'm sorry. Wake your ass, wake your ass up. Wake your ass wake up, your ass up podcast. You know, yeah. With um, you know, with the Carter Block. But ultimately, bro, I um, I worked. At, uh, I, I'm I'm part of uh, Fame Media. You feel me? That's LDZ. You feel me? And Steve. You feel me? They I gotta got get LDZ. Me. LDZ is supposed to come. Yeah, I was we supposed, supposed to slide in. I'm gonna be back when they come. So For I'm sure. here. You feel me? They For were saying sure. that, but you, that's that's the love that that is commanded right now. But ultimately, I would see like all these different artists slide. Carter Black. Feel me? They did a collab. They did hip hop on the hill. You feel me? Shit like that. And um. Then I just like I do my I do my I check the car facts, bro. I do my research and I tap in. So by the time I ended up had a, my own straight conversation with bro, um, we just had a conversation. I was at the lake. I remember the first day I was just chilling at the lake. That's my thing. I be love at the lake. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I just catch my vibe there, and I just went on live. And from there, I seen bro. It wasn't through nobody. It was through directly to the source. And bro was embracing me. Period. He like he's crazy. genuine. Really that. You don't meet a lot of people like 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 cuz. Oh, me. For real. Like him. You don't, you don't do that. So oh, don't from, act like you shy right now. <laughs> and from there in that moment, he just pouring. Mr. Pouring Carter. Love. He, he, I'm talking about the next couple of times, like he just instantly like, nah, bro, I got something to say. Woo woo. He just started pouring into me from the gate. And when I the type of person I am, people think I'm weird. They people think I'm woo woo. Whatever. They think whatever they think. And that's their narrative. That's between them and God. It's all love. But bro always show me love from the gate. You feel Why do you think people think you weird? Because I am. The fuck? Hey, it really is that. <laughs> right. Exactly. Now, no, I'm, the, asking, I'm, asking you. Unique, so. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. So you, um, you recognize, you, you, to you, you're weird. So when Everybody's people, weird if you so, think about it. So when I think about it, let's say this. You yeah. know, as you an artist, somebody might, let's just say to take it all the way to the source. You remember people might say, damn, bro, they hear your song for the first time. This sounds like a real song. Oh, you do podcasts? Oh, you in the radio? You really in radio? So that mean that you um exceeded the expectations. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And in that moment, so I, I I read between the lines. If you can't read the signs, you a new slave. So back in the day, they didn't want us to read the how, how to read and write because you was gonna have too much information. Mm -hmm. So if you can't read the signs, one one one, two two two, three two three, see the different signs of the universal law, then you a new slave. That mean that you are gonna be a slave to the mental blockages, the mental cages, all the energy. So my question is this: Why, why, why are why are you why are more people like you? You all rare. You guys are like rare, right? People, people scared to be rare. 
Because everybody want to be real. I don't want to be real. You see what I got on, Mike? I've been, I've been you real. You see what I got on? You see what I got on? This yep. is, this Jesus is calling. Do you hear you? You yeah. hear you? This is what they don't wear. Right. That's yeah. A, oh yeah. The hat. Yeah. yeah we did. Let's believe. speak to this real. No, no. Speak to that real. That real and rare. Speak to that ism. So you know, a, a lot of the times, a lot of people was focused on being real. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real nigga. I'm a real bitch. I'm real in these streets. I'm real. But how many people actually say that they're rare? How many oh. people? How many people that actually take on, you know what I'm saying, the action of knowing that being rare is is like the best thing that you can be. <laughs> Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just like when if you go outside and we all look alike and we all dressing alike, then shit. It, it dumbs everything down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I went from wearing sweatsuits every day and people didn't even like that. Now, a lot of people wearing sweatsuits. You was wearing hella sweatsuits. You feel me? You had the Nike tech suits and shit Man. back 2015 and shit. Man. And that so. play into being innovative. So when they say about being weird, most people say weird is unique. That means like it's different. That's what I'm saying. You're different. Yeah. And sometimes different could be bad, but sometimes different be good. Everything got That's. a light and dark. You feel me? And it's okay. Depending on what you could dance it, it's both. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm going, but when you grow your locks out, they be saying, oh, it's the ugly stage. That's how they view it. But right. when your shit, when that shit dropped up, you got dreadlocks. Uh, you feel me? No, I don't got dreadlocks. I got, um, I got locks. Got? Okay, you locks. Feel me? Yeah. Because I ain't dreading the fact. Yeah, that I'm got about to be like, bro, it ain't dreadlocks. It's locks, nigga. Because, because you locked in. So at the end of the day, the power of the tongue. You feel me? So right. Like, if we speak to this, bro. You feel me? He gonna speak the ism from the Bible. You feel me? But at the end of the day, it's just like. Really utilizing your words as they spells, your spelling. You got to see, command the words that you want to see and then what you want to see in this world, in this realm. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's really tapping into your power, tapping into to your inner self. A lot of people want to explode, but it's about imploding. It's mm. about inside. You, it, um, Tony, B, Tony B just said, you either got to go within or you go without. Mm. You feel me? Gang and when we talk about ism, that's what I'm saying. LDZ. I just talked to bro. I'm King like, of that's your brother? Yo, deep, bro. Y'all look alike. We family, bro. We family. King the King of Haifi. You feel me? You I talking about LDs from the one that do the podcast? Yeah, really yeah, sure yeah, yeah that's my guy. I'm talking about track of dick. What he be saying? What he saying? Come on. Come on. You know what I want. Yeah. Bro, this is what it's that about. That nigga sick. He don't. He ain't drink alcohol and hella long and all this that's shit. Natural. About connecting that ain't natural for me, nigga. I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying, you know, I'm saying the energy, I'm saying the energetic energy with the turn up. That's that's the okay, nah, nah, yeah. It's, it's, it's I wrong. fuck with cuz. It's, it's like a nigga popping a pill without popping a pill. It's he's instant. a he's a, a great person. interviewer. He's a joyful person. He's very joyful. Cause he him. That's what he do. He really walk around the city and ask questions because he really trying to be insightful. You feel me? So that's what it's about. You know, really, really connecting the dots and showing love to all the different people and and. The innovators of it. So when, right. so like when you ask me how I met Bird and stuff like that, it's because I need to know podcasts. You feel me? Fame Media, and he was bringing so many people through there. And right when he gave me the history, being at uh, that's where I knew him from. Yeah, I said when I got to that spot, uh, I need to know podcasts. I said, bro, I know you from some of the the the, the not LDS, but the but the. The nigga behind the scenes. I'm like, yeah, bro, I know you from somewhere, bro. Yeah. He like, yeah, you probably say. I'm like, bro, no, I know you. That's why I met. I, I met you when through we, him. Yeah, we did the uh, hip hop on the hill. Though. Okay, got you, got you. I'm like, nigga, yeah. I know, I know you. And he was trying to play it cool, like you feel me and all this shit. But thank you, my bad. I hate to cut you off. No, it's not I be hella right. random like that. No, I'm weird too. That right there is talking about making an impact, cause. Bro, like think think of feminine energy. You feel me? There's a lot of brothers in here, but I talk about feminine energy. Mm hmm. A girl could sit right, bro. It could be a dude that sat right next to the girl. Her name is Maria uh, Martinez, and this brother named John Munez sat behind him since first grade to to high school. Mm -hmm. Didn't even feel his vibe, his energy. He didn't even make no impact in her life. He didn't even know he was there. But when you make an impact in people's life, bro, when you really are somebody that made an impact in somebody's life, they never forget it. Whether you up or down, whatever. They going to speak on that once once you really step forward into your life. That's our job. You feel me? Hey, that's our job. They're going to be like, oh, bro, I remember in third grade, nigga, E-40 gave me a piece of gum at the, uh, the, the. 
You remember the piece of gum I gave you at the function when I felt invisible? Bro, you know how many people feel invisible out here, bro? You do a right. hell of work and put hella time in. Say something, DC. And then they tell you to keep working. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to give. Okay, this is, okay you did. Keep I'm just working. That's, right. that's the corny shit that I hate about out here, right? But what's that? Motherfucker beat his feet up, right? <laughs> like going hard, stomping the pavement working, hard. Now, and they tell you, hey, you doing a good job. You need to keep working, though. Keep going. Keep right. going. But I mean, I mean, I mean, I feel you on that, but it's like. Nah, but see, this, so many people feel like they deserve whatever see, this, they this, think this, they this, deserve. This, this is the slap in the face, right? You know what I'm saying? What's the, what's the point of a person having a, a stepping stone in their life when you can help me change my life stand, but you want to tell me to keep working? You's a bitch ass nigga. I I I look at it two I ways though. I look, I look at, at it two ways. I do look at it two ways. I just look at it. I look at it two ways because you could say that right, but at right. the same time, a nigga like what they call luck. A uh, chance and opportunity, right? You know what I'm saying. Some uh, pre preparation, pre preparation and opportunity equals luck, or whatever they say, right. whatever the saying is. You know you what I'm know, saying. I, you know, Sometimes a nigga can put you can you could you could give a nigga opportunity, right? And they could fumble the bag, right? Or whatever. So it's, it's I look I at mean, it twofold. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't you know what I'm that. saying. I didn't experience it. That. Ain't always fumbling the bag. That's not always what God called them to do. We want people to do what we think they should do. And that's the problem. That is the problem. I mean, I deal with it a lot. Because right. it's like, I get so many people, and I told, I, we talked about this. I'm like, bro, I get so many people that feel like, I, and I'm like, bro. I, and it's like, bro, like who, I don't mean to say this, but like, who the fuck are you, bro? Mm -hmm. Right. Like, you're see, not, but see, that's you're not, you're not. That, that needs to keep putting But I'm work. saying it's like, that's my point. So it's like, you can say like, Okay, this nigga ain't helping me out, but nigga, why would I help you out? And you ain't helping you me act, you not helping yourself out. Hey, because right. you know right. why? <laughs> hey, you feel me? They may do it to you, but don't do it to you. There's so many people I want to get on the podcast. I haven't got on the podcast. It just, you know, shit yeah. happens. Okay, so like. That but we, everybody I, feel like everyone, bro, I got to I gotta get on. I got something to say. You, but you know why though? And it's not it's, it's not like I'm hating, it, 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 but it's like and, and actually, I have to filter. I have to filter. Actually, I'm I'm trying to build our brand, right? Right. Yeah. So like, if I just put anybody on, my brand right. is not going. I'm not going right. to get the views I need to fulfill my branding. You just talk about brand, right? right? So I have to put people on. I have to weigh this shit out. And it gets annoying. It's like, damn, bro, I want to put on everybody, but I can't put on everybody. No, that's not your right. job. That's right. not your job. Your job not to put on everybody, though. Everybody's right. not Everybody's not here to be put on. That's the problem. You get. You got God to call you. God to call you on to who you going to bring on and when to bring them on. You understand? No one can press you to bring nobody nah, on. Nah, I'm through with that. We, right. don't, we don't give a fuck about the, the, the pressure. Right. Like, I just deal with it. Right. It's like, it's it, I, I understand it comes from territory. Heavy is the crown. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, right. like you said, I appreciate you for recognizing my value. Right. That's why, that's why I had that's, told you. Like, I was going to tell him that. Like, his value like, is out of control. A lot of, of times people may get at you the way that they get at you because they they inspired by you. And they see what you bring to the table and they want to be a part of this journey before it gets to a point to where they're not a part of it. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Us. Inspired right. by us. Because right. I can't do this you know without C-Mac, E. Because McGee, all the shit. This, this is it's special. You feel me? This is a new transition of, of like... And I like and I and I don't mean to, I don't, we don't mean to toot our horn, but I'm gonna keep it real on some real shit. And I can say this within the station. I start we start getting it cracking, and everybody else, oh man, we gotta start getting on. They gotta give you. They gotta give you. God. Look, flowers. I'm talking about people at other, the other station next door, people at our station, and you I, you feel me? And now. I'm just I'm, I don't like oh, to toot bro. my horn. Like when a hoop court, I talk shit all day. Right. But when it comes to this, I try to be humble. I'm gonna give you gold no, bars. No, though. No, Thank you, no, DC. You know why I'm not giving you flowers? Flowers die out. I'm going to give you gold bars. Comes from the earth, natural. And you're a natural being, and God gave you a talent, and he gave you something special. You know what I'm saying? Thank and you got to know what right. you got. And, and, that, and don't let nobody people. ever hinder it, tear it down, break you down. Nobody right. can stop you, Phil Mo. For sure. That's, you know what I'm saying? I've been knowing you uh, more than half my life. 15 yeah, years, yeah, 13, man, 6, 16 yeah. years. Niggas who's young, niggas right. hooping. Man. This nigga cross a nigga over, and then call a foul. No, I'm joking. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> crazy, <laughs> I'm fucking with it, man. It's Watch yeah. Your Back Podcast. People making this motherfucker. You we kid, kick with Carter Black Entertainment. DJ DC. We got Love Boy. We got Bird in this motherfucker. Look, Let me know. What else? I, um, 
I, I can't I can't never leave. First of all, I gotta give a, a shout out to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Oh man, but thank you. That, That's the first time anybody's ever doing that. Thank you. I'm gonna start I, doing I that Bibles every show. For y'all, and I forgot them, and and, it's, and I had them signed, but that, I I get them for y'all. Yes, I, sir. That's what I bring. Yeah, but, I believe in Jesus. But but, but I definitely have to give a shout out and flowers and go bars and and, 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 and go oh, bars. Extra gold bars. They got this nigga even, shining already, nigga. For even, for even, you know what I'm saying? Look, you know I don't really you ain't do got your, music. You ain't got your gold with it. You into this, nah. you know what I'm saying? This is something I really don't even like music. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? Gotcha. But this is something my cousin, and he, you know what I'm saying? God sent me, so we, we, we lost a cousin in order for us to do what we doing. For sure. You know what I'm my saying? My condolences. Right, you know, which was street, you know what I'm saying? Okay, street okay. knowledge, you know gotcha. what I'm saying? Rest oh, in peace man. To the mob. Come on, man. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta, give, I gotta give, I gotta give all the guns to nigga. my cousin right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Ism, real quick, give give some street knowledge. Um, ism, you feel me? Because I ain't never got to meet, bro. You feel me? That I nigga was that. ill. He, he was talented. Love. He was talented, and he was hella. When I met him, he was just hella down to earth, hella real, and he's just a real guy. Man, yeah. you feel me? He don't judge you. Some people you you could tell they judging you. He didn't have that yeah, yeah, I got to shout out Auntie P because she going to see this. And if I don't shout her out, yeah, we don't shout, she going to act, she gonna act the fool. P, you know yeah. what I'm saying? My Auntie Perdina, that's, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That's Derek mother. You know what I'm saying? Can't so, forget about her in no type of way possible. You know what I'm saying? And his baby girl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Yeah. But we just want to thank you, man, for even letting us, allowing us even on this platform, though, Mike. You know what I'm saying? Like. Nah, this I mean, is, you know, is, is we just try to look out for people, bro. This That's is all. Huge. It ain't, it, 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 we don't take it for granted. Nah, people for real. Take, they take you for granted. Yeah, yeah. They well, take I, I've you noticed for that. We start. I've started to notice. They take that. you for granted, though. Right? <laughs> but like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes but when you elevate, messages. you can you can see it. When you at the same level, you don't see it. But when you start to elevate, it's like okay, you was really just taking a nigga for granted or whatever. You didn't really, you know, what I'm saying, see whatever. But you know, it is what it is. I got my team. We got our team. It's a Watch Your Back podcast. We in this motherfucker. It's like from what I I see from the um, outside looking in. You feel me? It's like I know Donovan. You feel me? Off top. Off top. Shout out my guy. Shout out. You feel me? And and, um, and then you got Carlito. He just passed away from the town. You mm-hmm. gave him a day in the town. Right, oh, right. You like yeah. one of them, yeah. bros. You For feel sure. me? Like, the brother at the, like, they just, you just chose us. Like, Man, you thank you. Like, thank you. Really got love Rest in peace to Carl, Carl for real, for real. Around sure. you because just your energy, some, whatever it is that you bring. Thank you. People, bruh. when you're not in the room and you're not around, people got love for you. Man, that's real crazy. Real I appreciate right. that. So, I appreciate that. Somebody said that last week. No lie. I was like, bro, you don't see when you come in the room, shit change. It's crazy, bro. Real but, talk. But, but that's what time. But is. I've heard that, you know, some real shit. And I hate to talk about myself in this way. No, it's the Watch no, Your Back podcast. You I've Watch heard that back. when I was a kid, this girl was like, bro, you got on the 24 and everybody was just looking at you, Mike. I'm like, for real, Trina? Shout out Trina. You anyway. Had on what? Factual, Trina. It's my girl no, no, Trina. She had, had a big ass forehead. I don't know what you I had on. 24. I used to dress uh, yeah, the 24 Divisadero. 24 Divisadero. Right you see how in tune you is? 1224. No, but, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's 1224 right now, nigga. Bro, yeah, but it's. Oh, shit! Yeah. <laughs> You what? Was, I'm about, Wash your back. Wash your Wash back, your nigga. Back. I'm talking about what you year it is. You understand me? What year? Oh, it's 2024. Man. When God, in, when you in God favor and that, that type of rhythm, right? You appreciate it, bro. Man, thank you, bro. Ain't this it. ain't about me. It's about y'all, man. For real, it's about us. It's about us. It's about us. It's about, us. It's about all of us. We got to talk about us. us. For real, it's about one, two, three, four. When we grew up, it was a village, and at the same time, that's the only reason our people got to get back together. We got to get back together in the whole. Dead. In a whole, straight up, not that's one village. individual. Everybody individual. We ain't here without yeah. you. Right. You ain't here without the right. people. In the, in They're the not group. here without you. You not here without them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying we gotta backs. start being like that. This is all one. This is not one, 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 one. And that's the problem. Yeah. Right. That's the new. That's the problem. Everybody became me, me, me. That Everything that is me. I, I. The Bible hate I. God didn't like I. We, I. Everything. Nobody does nothing by themselves. Straight up. Nobody does nothing by themselves. Can't. You can't. Right. Mm-hmm. You can't. And to bring it full circle, bro, that's to say this. Like, that's why I'm just saying, like, how I'm even here. This Carter Block, you feel me? They Man. just recognize my energy. So that's what I'm saying. This is a pure embodiment of what, bro, on. Mm-hmm. You feel me? This it's is a beautiful bro, thing. This is his moment. This it's is his a beautiful time, thing. But he said, bro, I'm about to, I'm about to pass the ball. He like, bro, you want to And he waited. He was like, we, we, cause we was gonna wait. We was gonna wait for y'all. We was like, he was like, nah, let's just go. Y'all came in perfect timing, man. It's a beautiful thing. Fine timing. 
For real, for real. We got to do a part two. Because no, we, no, we, we, because real talk, we really, we, we just touch the surface of shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? We could do a part two of this motherfucker, real talk. We're going to have you back in here. Bring Lil Duty. We got to bring Lil Duty. We got to bring Lil Duty. Duty. We we gotta gotta bring Duty. Carter Black uh, Snacks. All the yeah. shit. You feel me? Carter oh, Black Snacks, the, the condoms. And, and, and shout out, and shout out to, uh, <laughs> shout out to Phil Mo. You feel me? Off top, nigga. Phil Mo, uptown, downtown, man. Phil Mo took, Phil Mo took Carter Black and to a whole nother level. Off top, hell yeah. And I say that because from you the know, B to the A, we, man. We, we, we was young. able to to start a whole new foundation in the city due to people like Telly and Demo and Shout all this. Shout out so Telly Mac. We got Shout Carter, out we got Carter Block City. You feel me? Right. Telly, Mac. Telly Mac is is the CEO of Carter Block City. That's Ron, what's up. So and Telly Mac so real, man. So, Telly Mac so solid blood. You know, Come on, man. For real, Chief I love Chally. Telly Mac. I've always Chief Chally. Chief Chally, 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 he doing he doing a hundred point side of it. Feel my side together. Oakland together. We bridging we bridging the gap and bring and bringing the businesses together and showing people that you can have unity in the community if we just show each other the right way we was mm -hmm. taught the wrong way right off top right so it's like relearn and reteach and restructure the things that we was not taught and do it in a new way new manner some, you know that's that's some real ass shit blood we but when you eat coochie me. do you have your legs in the air when you eat coochie nah, no i'm joking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> flights to boston it's the watch your back podcast man flights thank y'all man for tuning no, in man don't forget like you. subscribe dc Mr. Carter Block himself, you, know you feel it. me? And my guy Love Moore showed up, man. Hey, we want to thank y'all for being here. Shout out C Max. Shout out Eva Shout Geek. out to my shout little brother Mari Coop, man. Well, my man shout After out Coop, man. You feel me? Man, free the guy, man. Shout you know out Go Corey, free man. Corey. Yeah, free Corey, you know man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out, man, Dooley, man. He Come always up. here, man. Big CBE. Big Dooley, you, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? We appreciate you. And the Love Moore, you know what I'm saying? That's our other brother hey, from a different mother, man. You know what I'm saying? Phil Mo Mike, you know I love you, man, to the end. You already know. Anything, man. You touch Phil. Mo Mike, you know, I might love Jesus, but I will come get you. We all, I love yeah, Jesus yeah. as well, man. My mom go feel yeah, this episode. Me. It's uh, Phil Mo Mike, Watch Your Back Podcast. We out this thing. Peace. Peace. Bye.